Daniel Medvedev versus Carlos Alcaraz is the final for the men's Indian Wells for 2023. And both guys have been very impressive to get to the final stage. Medvedev started the tournament off as number five seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Nakashima, who had just beaten John Isner in the previous round. But this was no problem for Medi, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-3. In the third round, he take on Avashka, who had just beaten Van der Zanschulp, the 28th seed in the previous round. And this was a tough match for Medi. He got through in three sets, 6-2, 3-6, 6-1. In the fourth round, he take on the 12th seed, Zverev, who was coming back nicely from his injury. And this was the all-time match of the tournament so far, with Medvedev eventually winning 6-7-7-6-7-5 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev will take on the number 23 seed for Kina. And after a close second set, Medvedev would eventually get through in straights 6-3-7-5 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Medvedev will take on the hometown favorite, Tiafo, the 14th seed. However, Medvedev dispatched him in straights, 7-5-7-6, to get to the final. Alcaraz started the tournament off as a number one seed. We get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on the qualifier, Kokonakis. This was no problem for Alcaraz, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, he take on the 31st seed, Grigspor, who had been very, very good this season. And after a close first set, Alcaraz dispatched him, 7-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he take on Draper, the exciting young Brit. But unfortunately, Draper got injured after a set, and Alcaraz got the easy win, 6-2, 2 love retirement. To get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number eight seed, Ojeli Asim. And even though Felix had had a 3-0 record over Alcaraz, Alcaraz won easily in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Alcaraz took on his friend and fellow young gun, Yannick Sinner, the number 11 seed, who just beaten the defending champion, Fritz, in the previous round. And after a close first set, Alcaraz ran away with the second, 7-6, 6-3, to get to the final. These guys have only played the one time before. That was back in 2021 at Wimbledon, with Medvedev getting the easy win. But since since then, Alcaraz has come a long way and Medvedev also has won a slam in that time. So having a look at the tennis insights now and you can see there in attack, Alcaraz is the more aggressive player at 25% and when he is in attack, he's actually winning 73% of those points, which is the conversion against Medvedev 69%. However, Medvedev has a slight advantage in the steals at 39%, which is well above tour average and also better than Alcaraz. So defensively, Medvedev is better. And in the baseline battles, the slight edge goes to Alcaraz when both players are playing on the base baseline and of course much much better than the tour average because these guys are quality at the baseline shot quality is a part of a range of new insights from the team at tennis insights it is calculated in real time and analyzes each shot speed spin depth width and impact on the opponent the number of the player cards are actually the 52 week rolling averages go check them out on twitter link down below this one's going to be a really close one because these guys haven't played for so long and Medvedev is on such a run at the moment but i'm going to go with alcaraz in three sets i think it's going to be an absolute epic and the world number one is at stake and I think Alcor is going to take it. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this one.